All right, we're back live here again with uh, Ned's case. We're going to put our temp on, and we'll put that in individually now. We'll just keep them like a leaf. And it doesn't matter where we're going first. Okay, we have a molar, and we'll pack that in. Okay, and get a good condensation in there. Second by, we just finished etching. So now, and the Teflon is about 50 microns in thickness. Incidentally, uh, our lab is here on the premises. You know, you always they always want to hear back. How did the case go? What did we do? What did we do right? And we wouldn't make any corrections. And I really think that. Um, Overall, everybody worked together really well. There's really no quarterback in dentistry. Uh, if you've got a well-groomed team, everybody's working together. Dentist, dental assistant, uh, front desk, hygienist. And if you're lucky like we are, we have an in-house lab that does exquisite implant work. Uh, Linda Petro and, and Donna Gomer out there are doing really well with their lab. And they have an assistant also. She's in there. Uh, Allie, she's also a technician. So, Teflon's in. Silane's next. And you can just see that silane gets sucked right into that ceramic. That's the way you want to do it. Okay. This is winding down now. Uh, we're going to add the coupling agent for the paracore. That's next. That's a 30 second uh, dab. And one, two, and three. Look at that. They're all dabbed nicely. I'll wait 30 seconds. Um, what we've done before in the earlier steps is that we joined his open tray impression post or copings together. Now, I didn't film that, but I do have photographs if, if you need to see that and you can easily write in I'll email you the photos um, and it shows you step by step on how to keep each of these singles together so even if we we're going to do a bridge you know this be the same impression techniques all right so we're ready we're going to dry off the each tooth and uh, we can go ahead and tell Phyllis now we're go ahead and contact our next patient we're going to finish a little early here so, uh, and I don't think Ned's upset about that. So that's good. <laughs> He's got a big smile on his face. So, all right. Okay, now uh, we'll go with the first. And so, okay. Now this first step. And we're just going to add that uh, just up to the cover of the metal. That's that's where I stop. And I'm going to go with the next. Uh, make sure I got enough. Uh, there we go. I'm not worried. It's on the maxilla or the upper. So if we had a little bit come over the top, I'm not too worried about it. That looks good. All right. And now we'll add the dentin shade. Now I'm going to overfill a little bit in case we have to adjust a little bit more on occlusion, but that's that's fine. I, I try not to have most of the weight on these areas. But now we'll go ahead and like cure that. Um, Ned, just so you know, we're going to be adjusting your bite, and uh, more than likely, though, um, it should go pretty pretty quickly since none of your none of your implant crowns uh, were 
were out of occlusion or out of your bite. They were perfectly aligned. So I'm just overfilling them so that we can have a, a nice surface to polish to and get a nice seamless uh, finish. And we'll go one more time with the light. And uh, whether you do one or you do two or you do like what we're doing four, um, you know, we have other cases that we have to join teeth together, but our uh, periodontist uh, has, uh, he was able to, to uh, reassure us that we were okay to go with single units and the patient was very very Deb was very happy about having them as a single entity so you can floss through and, and, and brush through and, and treat them like natural teeth so those are the little plugs that we cure we like here just like having a small little filling but you know you don't see that from the side at all and uh, and, the, and the worry is oh well is there you know not a good seal there would they ever come out I mean even if they were to chip a little bit in, in the plastic port or the composite that can easily be added to but rarely does that ever occur I think the, the main thing you need to see is how nice the tissue looks not only that but but there's no blanching yet all the spaces are, are filled beautifully um, and if there's any food that gets anywhere, well, flossing and, and, and water picking. Actually, water picking would be the the best thing, you know, and, and we have Ned on that. He likes it. And uh, so we're enjoying, um, you know, that whole part of, of continuing the, uh, you know, the, the home care and, and all the hygiene. Now, we have two types of water picks that we endorse here in the office and they're from the water pick company one of which is a handheld portable unit that's called the water pick plus and the other one is called the water pick ultra the key is the um, pickpocket which is a small little tip it's a soft end tip that you can actually push almost a third of the way in between the teeth and then turn the water pick on so it has a tip that's shaped very similar to say maybe some of the tips we use in dentistry here so it fits in, me in there and then you turn the machine on you fit it in there you turn it on otherwise the water goes all over we also have uh, a very good um, uh, water bath uh, medicament that goes in there that's uh, homeopathic uh, discovered and, and produced by a dentist uh, and we we like that it keeps the staining down but it also keeps the tissue healthy so we have lots of information on that okay uh, we're gonna adjust his bite uh, you don't need to see that we're gonna move forward on the next case after Ned uh, see you then hope your day is great take care from Boca Raton Dr. Jerry Cuomo you, Dr. you're very welcome Ned and uh, take care